the most frequently asked questions I get every single week is what does my trading day look like? Because people know that I don't really have this typical trading day where I sit in front of the computer the entire day. In fact, most of my research is done in a little bit in the morning, a little bit in the evening. I check the market throughout the day. So there's really no need for me to be glued to my computer. I can do most of my uh, trades that I do uh, really from anywhere, from my iPad uh, back here or from my iPhone, which I'm recording this on. And of course, in the morning or evening when I'm on the computer. So what does my trading day actually look like? I come into today and the number one thing I look at, the number one thing is I look at some macro charts. I need to have an idea of what is happening in the global markets. I look at the major equity indices. I look at bonds. I look at commodities. I look a little bit at currencies. This is literally about a seven to eight minute exercise. It takes very little, little time. Usually that's followed by some phone calls. I get phone calls from hedge funds and investors and colleagues that I've worked with in the past. Uh, this is pretty much a global exercise. So these are people uh, based in New York, London, uh, and even in Asia and in California actually as well. So it's really a global exercise. That takes, uh, takes that could take about a half an hour. Or so it's not every single day, but we do it a couple times a week. We do these sort of uh, mastermind phone calls. And it gives me a lot of perspective. I then of course have to go in and I start make, uh, making morning videos for my Clubhouse subscribers. And I give them all this knowledge that I just did. So usually... By the time I get to around 9 o'clock Eastern, so about 30 minutes before U.S. equities open, I'm pretty much done with the entire research I need to do for that day. I, again, will then usually look at the market throughout the day, but most of that can be done on my iPad or my iPhone uh, pretty much on the go. So the big difference between what I do and what a lot of other people do is I don't, I really have shaped my, my trading day or my sort of approach, if you will, and very specifically uh, so that I do not, I do not have to be stuck in front of this computer the entire day. Cause listen, I've done this for way too long and life happens elsewhere. So yes, of course I'm connected to the market, but I do not, I do not want to be sitting in front of a computer all day looking at the flickering ticks. The trading style I have multi-day, multi-week, uh, is not something that requires me to do that. I can do all the research for the most part on the go. So that's something I'm, I'm teaching my, my clubhouse members, anyone that's taken my courses, and it's making a massive difference in, in, for anyone that's taken this. So that's really my mission is to teach you that there is an alternate way. A lot of people get sucked into trading, and the first thing they want to do is sit in front of the computer all day long. They get all sorts of screens, and they sit there, and pretty much it ruins their lives. More often than not, that is the outcome, at least for a number of years, until they either give up, they're out of capital, or very few of them actually do tend to make it through. So there's a much higher probability way, and a lot of it has to do with the time frames you choose, of course, number one, but also technology these days. The, the, the mobile platforms, every all the big good brokers and, and pieces of software out there, charting software, and things like that, they have a mobile platform. So for the most part, you can use that stuff on the go. So make sure... You incorporate trading into your lifestyle and you don't let it overtake your lifestyle. As much as trading and investing is a lifestyle in and of itself, you have to make sure you adapt it to your current lifestyle already so that it fits in nicely and you don't drive yourself nuts. So let me show you a little bit more what that what my trading day looks like, what the morning exercise looks like. So a lot of the tools that I use are actually just websites that are basically available for free. I do have access in full disclosure to a Bloomberg terminal and I do use that a couple times a week. But for the most part, you know, you're, you're, I have developed my approach so I do not have to do crazy in-depth research using two complicated tools because I've understood that the bigger picture and various things in the markets matter more than anything. So I use, for example, Bloomberg.com. I also use the Bloomberg uh, app, for example, which is great so I can use everything on the go. That's very, very important. I have various platforms. In this case, this is eSignal. Uh, and really, ultimately, once I've gone through sort of my big picture, my big picture charts for the day, again, I, I look at the macro charts first. I have these little watch lists here where I look at equities. I look at uh, commodities. I look at uh, currencies. Just, again, it's this five or seven minute exercise in the morning. And then pretty much I start looking for my B2 reversal setups. Um, that's something that looks like this. I have these uh, my B2 reversal indicator, which uh, some of you guys may have heard of already. That's now available for clients. And basically, I just look at anything that comes up here. There are various scans that I run, and I click through these and see if there's a setup. Like right now, I just I just click through this, and there's a bullish setup in this particular tech ticker here taking place, PH, that I'm looking at to potentially buy uh, tomorrow. Um, and that's really it. So that's about a 15-minute exercise. That has cut out. Having this B2 reversal indicator has literally cut out about... Uh, about an hour and 45 minutes of, of 
of, of research that I used to have to do. So um, that's it. I look at the news, I do some phone calls, I check the macro picture with my, my watch list and it ultimately go in and I zoom in and see if there's uh, my beat reversal indicator is giving me buy or sell signals in, in stocks, indices, currencies, commodities, uh, all sorts of stuff like that. And so, like I said before, as about nine, as of about 9.30 or so Eastern, my research process for the day is mostly done. I do then follow the market wherever I go. I do travel quite a bit, educating, educating uh, my students, uh, meeting other investors, and just going about my business, you know, building the business, the education business, the, the steadytrader.com, coming up with new courses, again, educating in different ways as well, mastermind classes and so on and so forth. Um, and then pretty much I stay I stay on course uh, throughout the day using my my iPad, the Bloomberg apps, the broker apps, st stuff like that. I look at the market probably once an hour real quick. I don't again I don't follow the ticks too much. Um, and that's it. So I've, what I've done over the years uh, I've developed a system very much on purpose that allows me to be in tune with the market but not have to be stuck in front of the computer so I can be uh, less emotionally attached to it. I pretty much just set my alerts so throughout the day I get alerts popping up on my iPad or and or, or iPhone uh, depending on, on uh, what I'm, whether I'm Wi-Fi or not and so pretty much that keeps me that keeps me in motion uh, in check with the, with the market. A lot of my uh, friends that I started trading with back in the day at JP Morgan and other places they still are very much stuck in front of their screens and you know uh, it's a matter of lifestyle. I don't think trading should take over your life. You do have to understand that active investing and trading is a lifestyle, but make sure you, you try to fit it into your lifestyle as opposed to completely changing your life and being stuck in front of these computer screens uh, for eight hours a day and never seeing the sun. So that's uh, the way I trade, guys. I hope this makes sense. If you have any questions, please leave some comments down below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.